Hey y'all, I wanted to do a, a little video devotional since I can't see you this week. Um, I, I thought about one particular verse a lot this week. Um, and I, I'd encourage you guys to read this verse and even memorize it. All right, the verse is Psalm 42, 5. Why are you cast down on my soul? Why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Okay, here's what I love about this verse. The writer is going through a hard time and he's not doing all that well. Maybe some of you can relate given everything that's been going on this week. But here's the thing that's interesting. The psalmist knows he's not doing very well and he has an intervention with himself. The writer of the song talks to himself and he says, self, why are you downcast? Self, stop it. That's actually what he's doing. He's downcast and he knows he shouldn't be. So rather than giving himself permission to go deeper into the rabbit hole of depression, he stops himself and he says to himself, what are you doing? Stop. Look to God. Why are you cast down on my soul? Why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God. For I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Some of you probably need to start talking to yourself. Maybe you're not downcast and depressed, but maybe you're anxious or afraid or angry. And of course, some of you are. That's okay. The question is, are you going to let yourself go deeper into that rabbit hole of fear? Or are you going to schedule intervention with yourself and preach the truths of scripture to yourself. Like some of us need to stop letting the news or social media tell us how to feel, right? The news and social media, that's good for getting information, right? Because we need to be informed citizens and we need to follow the medical experts' advice, absolutely. But, but you don't go to the news and social media to tell you how to feel. You go to the word of God. Let God tell you how to feel. So that, that's my prayer for you this week. Talk to yourself. Schedule an intervention with yourself if you need to. Just like the writer of Psalm 42.5. By the way, the best way to do this is to carve time aside daily to be in the Word of God. Please make that effort, right? God's words are words of peace. They're words of life. They're words of comfort. So please, like, let's go out of our way to find comfort there. We, as church leaders, we're continuing to pray for you all. We love you and we're here for you. If you need anything, please contact us. We will be contacting you uh, more this week. See you guys later.